Hi, I'm Steve from Yoga Gal Support. Welcome to another Exaquantum training video. In this video, I'm going to show you a few basic troubleshooting steps to use when you can't get tag data from an OPC server. There are a number of useful tools that are available in Exaquantum, and you may be familiar with these if you have used Exa OPC servers. The tool set is the same. The files are located under the Exaquantum PIMS folder in a subfolder, XROPC, XROPC Tools. It's quite useful to create a shortcut to this folder as these tools get used quite a lot. The first tool we're going to use is the ZOPDA client. We launch the application and in the node text box we put the name of the machine we want to connect to. And we choose the correct prog ID. And then we click connect. OK, so that's not good. This error means the tool can't connect to the OPC server at all. So let's check if we've got network access to the machine. We open a command window and we use the ping command to check if the machine's accessible. OK, so we can't find the machine, so obviously we have the machine name wrong. Let's try again with the correct machine name. So this time we get a different error, but when we close the error message down, we can see that we are connected. So this indicates that we have got the right machine and we're connecting to the machine, but the error 7005 usually means access denied. So as the account we're logged in as, we don't have permissions to access that server. And this is quite a frequent problem. So let's log in as the quantum user account, because that's the account the XQuantum services run as, then we can try again. And as a user on this account, I've actually created a shortcut to the folder with the diagnostic tools. So once again, I enter the same information and click connect. And now I get no errors. And if I click the get states button, I can see information about the OPC server. So we're obviously connected now. The next thing to do is to see if we can actually read some data. So we choose Select Add, and then enter the name of a data item and function block that we know exists. This should be a tag we know is going to be updated so that we can actually see values from it. I add the item and click device read and we can see there's a value there. So the XQuantum server can read data from the OPC server. The next thing to test is that the OPC server can send data back when the client is actually subscribing. XQuantum uses a method of subscription. So to do that we check the active and subscribe buttons. And you'll notice that as soon as we do that, the value has now started updating, which means that the OPC server can send the data back through. 
Now often the reason the OPC server can't send data back through is if there's a firewall blocking the connection. So let's check what happens when we switch on the Windows firewall. And you'll notice almost immediately we switch the firewall on, the value stopped updating because the data is actually being pushed from the OPC server and the firewall is blocking that connection. If we turn the firewall off, then after a short time, the subscription should start working again and we can see the data is updating. So those are the key points you need to check for an OPC server connection. Check the machines accessible on the network, that the name's correct. Check that you have got the right permissions, that the account you have has got permissions on the OPC server. And check for firewalls, either stopping data going to or from the ExaQuantum server. Zopda server tool is a useful tool to let us do that diagnosis. Well that concludes this basic troubleshooting video, thanks for watching.